just the obvious truth. I went one and two today. <laughs> Who did you play? I played Aiden round one. He brought back the second two games. Um, and then I played Thomas with my Falco and went into Amy. And I thought I played really solid at the times that I was doing well. But again, I'm just too unsafe on Peach's shield and such. And yeah. Punishes are just so brutal once you get hit a couple times. So kind of threw me out of my focus. I don't think I have time. I gotta stop some other places today, so. Yeah, well, Peach is like one of those characters where if you're playing well, she really can't do a whole lot about it. And that's But if I you don't, yeah. then you get eaten alive. There was definitely a couple moments where I was behind and I was like, I don't feel behind. You know, I can, I can play really well and bring this back in about two seconds. No, absolutely. I think in game one, actually, both of my first two stocks were taken away and I brought the next three back. Yeah. And couldn't close it out, but it still felt like, you know, obviously Fox favored. Feels like Fox favored, but in a tournament, anything goes, man. It's kind of the counter hit um, <laughs> logic, right? Like if they're, if they're playing really solid defense, they can turn your aggression into a kill for them. Like it's nothing. Yeah. Um, as I've Peach been thinking about that will, a lot lately. Peach players will yeah. tend to get those things down first. Because it's really important you know how to respond to aggression than be the one pushing over a fox in the uh, in neutral. Like, it's not going to happen like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've been thinking a lot about, like, you were saying, like, they'll get a counter hit and, like, I've just been thinking, like, i got to stop trying to hit people so much. Yeah, they turn it into 70%. Yeah. Man. Like, I get my 10% and I'm like, yippee, and then I'm dead. I'm like, why did I even go for that? Like, why didn't I just recover or whatever? I feel like, in Falcon's case, hit stun is just your, your best and most loyal friend. Like, mm -hmm. it's the only thing that you can't really feel betrayed by in the game or thrown off by. As yeah. soon as you land that stomp or land an up air, it's like, okay, I have exactly this much time to <laughs> yeah. get another one out there. And then all of a sudden I'm up air and, like, somebody in their CCing and I get grabbed. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, right. You're like, oh, it's not strong enough. Right. Okay, that's another thing i got to factor in. Yeah, just not hitting the opponents. Oh, it just really takes good. out Nana. Holy shit. <laughs> no remorse. Yeah, but this is the Katsu Popo we're talking to. Absolutely. Built different. Oh, my, well, he should have gotten that straight up. Should have seen him in Counter Strike. He was hitting nasty. nasty was he? Shots last night. <laughs> oh, my, he's still up there. <laughs> no. Audibly, audibly makes a mistake. Every mistake I do, I go, oops, oh, oops, oops. I'm so, uh, like, vocal when I mess up. I can't help but lose focus. Like, if I'm on stream, I just can't help but giggle at all the stuff I get hit by. Like, <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> it just feels too funny to not react to. But if I want to be, I think, a, a stronger competitor or a version of myself as a competitor, I need to get those giggles out before I sit down to play, take it a lot more seriously. soulless. Yeah. Yeah. When I'm playing really well, I do feel soulless. I feel like all of the uh, yeah. all of the interesting and creative things that I would normally throw in are taken away for pure punish and precision. For me, it feels more like like I'm soulless. I'm still doing the stuff that I think is interesting, but I'm like not thinking about it. Like I'm just doing it without even thinking about it, and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh shit, I just did all that. Like you'll hear a lot of people say they like zone out when they play. Yeah, but. To me, it's different. It's like uh, I almost have like an out-of-body experience where like I, I don't yourself. even remember that I'm playing anything. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like Fox can Fox can wave shine up smash right here, and then it happens on my screen. I'm like, oh, I did that. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I thought would happen. You're just kind of zoned out thinking about the game, and before you know it, you gotta get a good thing going on. Oh shit, that's all. I think anybody playing this could benefit from like zoning out and seeing what their hands can accomplish on their own. You know, there's a book that talks about that called The Inner Game of Tennis. <laughs> would, I, would you be surprised if I told you I own the book? <laughs> I but, mean, but never read it. <laughs> it's, it's good. I liked the first first couple of chapters and then the middle was getting too much into tennis and then the ending was good too. I like when people outsource for information from other things. Like the thing that's been motivating me is watching uh, 
like sports anime. I mean, I watched Haiku a couple years ago, and fantastic show, but different environment, right? It's team based. You're relying on other people. Yeah. That's not melee. That's not melee singles, and that's not what I come here to do. They so. have plot armor. You have you to. Don't. You have to take it as like a real ego person approach, and like do everything for yourself. Uh, and it's a lot different. Yeah. Everybody has their strengths from games they played before. Like I was a CS:GO player, so I was a lot better at like team communication, less about star playerness. Mm -hmm. And you really got to be the star if you're trying to play melee. Like I've only played melee competitively. I don't, I don't even think that's play a bad one player games. Like I don't play games anymore at all, really, just mm -hmm. melee, but when I was a gamer it was mostly like single player stuff. Yeah. I'd say any time that I get into a multiplayer game, it tends to be competitive, and I tend to make it competitive for myself. Yeah. But I was at Prairie Land when competing for a Counter Strike tournament. And that's actually when I found the melee tournament that was happening, just yep. over in the other room in the owl. Mm -hmm. And uh, I never thought like the scene would have been so strong already. <laughs> yeah. I had watched professional melee and I was amazed, but I just I never figured our population here would have enough people dedicated to it. Yeah, it turns out we're actually correct. Um, yeah, we're you know clearly we got the two saint slayer here. <laughs> clearly got we people got... that are branching out far enough to take games out of the top 50s hands. Yeah. Um, we got Lincoln you know, beating Bobby Big Balls. <laughs> Did he really? <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, show a lot of promise from our players here, and even though we have those people that are towering above us in terms of placements and skill, it still doesn't feel too far out of the reach, like, for any of us. No. And if you know the players, you know how much they practice and shit, too, and that helps, that actually helps put it into perspective, you're like, well, I know Carter plays a shit ton of ranks, so, like, yeah, you should never feel bad about losing to people here, no. and, uh... It almost just makes you more proud of the player that beats you every time. You're like, damn, it was you today. I never fucking expected that. Like, uh, Austin's one of those guys he's been practicing lately. Yeah. Aiden took my winner's bracket out of my hands today just like it was nothing. And, you know, am I complaining? I am not complaining. I am just uh, happy that somebody's still in bracket that deserved it. <laughs> I did not play it all the past week, so I really am not being hard on myself for today. I wanted to come here and relax. Enjoy my birthday and shit. Me and Carson play all the time. All the time, yeah. I but see it's to the point where, like, when we play, it's not it's not regular ass melee because we're we know each other so well that it's like I don't know. Jordan and I found like a cap for we were like plateauing with what we could gain off each other and yeah. There's some days we'll sit down to play for an hour and we'll feel like we improved and that'll be once every week or two. It's not like it used to be. I used to be every single day like four hours a night we'd be playing. Just, just back and forth, back and forth. But I use Carson as like my little laboratory. Test things out on him. Test stuff out, work. practice stuff. Any smash attack here is killing. <laughs> yeah, for me either character. It's actually terrifying. Uh, okay. Nana, nice. Nana. Double. <laughs> just protecting. Him. Okay, he's dead. No, it's okay. It's okay. We get the tech chase here. Oh, no, he's. In I hate to see that happen, but still got another three chances to go here. Both players are in top eight. And there's still a whole set could be played here. Yeah. Austin sees a 3 0. Yeah. 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 My only guess is that. Chances are, if you don't have something come out in melee, you hit it too early. No the buffers. Just so fast. Yeah, the game's so fast that you want to push the buttons fast. Mm -hmm. And it ends up making you do not what you want to happen. <laughs> yeah, being too, too good for your own good. It's a common problem. I hit like seven perfect ledge dashers today against Aiden. <laughs> Yeah. But I missed one. <laughs> and it killed me at zero. So. Yep. That's the tax. You know, I do find it really interesting that, like, we have a top 10 and a PR and everything, yet it doesn't account for, like, anything. I, I find it's just as likely that I'll turn up in the same placement as I would off PR than I would on PR. And oh, yeah. That's kind of why, like, I don't know, everybody's like, oh, Jesse, you made PR. I'm like, yeah, but, like, 
you should still feel good about <laughs> attending more than us. Like, yeah. you still show a lot more um, commitment to the to the whole show, and the fact that you sit on commentary to like provide more for everybody else. I mean, that's hmm. us doing more than we are. We don't even, <laughs> we don't even rig setups, so. and we have like five CRTs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're useless, um, but we play melee a lot. So, Manitoba brought more TVs than you guys. Yeah. They brought two. We, we brought more cars, though. Yeah. <laughs> we all came separate today. Did more damage to the environment. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Pissing Greta off. Yeah. I thought Aiden would be kind of hard for Austin because he's a bit of a... The way he plays is pretty good against Ice Powers. Yeah. Just full no, he's, he's around grounded. Around. He's, uh, he's got, like, a foundation in neutral. Um, he's not too flashy, which makes it good because if you if you try going for things that are out of reach, you're gonna start hitting a couple and then getting in the idea that you can go for it every time. And yeah, it's just not always the case. Ice climbers also don't let you really do that kind of stuff. If you do something that's unsafe at all, <laughs> I just thought you win the game off Carter by just ripping me on that last dog. Yeah, you just gotta go for it sometimes. I was. Reading a jump slash, I was gonna shield, go for a shield poke there, so I just got lucky that he actually did jump. But I was hoping either one of those. Fox can net a lot of kills with like drift and up smash. Like if they're just coming towards you in the air, <laughs> yeah. dash back, dash in, up smash, it'll kill them so often. Ooh, this is gonna be a tough comeback. Tough little there for Austin, but it means I play. So.